Welcome back to Classmates Belvi 2014, presented by Classmate and powered by the Times of India, an initiative by Radio Mirji. So I left you thinking about a cloth that was originally known as Serge the Neem. So could you figure out what it's called now? Well, Serge the Neem was contracted to the Neem, which finally became denim. We're halfway through a tense round one. Two contestants remain that we haven't played with as yet, so let's get on with it and quickly welcome to the podium our third and only male contestant, Aditya Ayangar from Hutching School in Pune. Hi, Aditya. Hi. Feeling outnumbered by the girls? No. No? Enjoying it? Yes. <laughs> Are you here with some family? Yes, my mother and grandmother. Your mother and your grandmother are here. Welcome Hello. to the show. Hello. You must be very proud. He's been through so many grueling rounds to be here. Is there anything that you want to say to him before he starts this third semi-final? Simply, all the best. <laughs> Simply put, all the best for round one. Your first word is for five points. And that word is anomaly. Can I have the meaning? Something that deviates from what is standard, normal or expected. Language of origin. It is of Greek origin. Could you use it in a sentence, please? When naughty Jayant greeted his teachers, good morning, they decided it was obviously an anomaly and put it down to fever. A-N-O-M-A-L-Y, anomaly. Absolutely correct, five points. Well done. Your second word is for 10 points now, and that word is ikibana. Ikibana. That is correct. Language of origin? Japanese origin. And definition? The art of Japanese flower arrangement with formal display according to strict rules. I-K-E-B-A-N-A, -E Ikebana. Sure? Yes. You know this word? Yes. You're absolutely right. Well played. Do you know where this word originates from? No. Well, it is Japanese uh, in origin from Ikeru, meaning to keep alive, and Hana, meaning flower. So that's interesting to know. Yes. You're well on your way in round one. Only two words remain for you to spell. Your third word is for 15 points. That word is agoraphobia. Can I have the meaning? Extreme or irrational fear of open or public spaces. Language of origin? It is of Greek origin. Could you use it in a sentence, please? When the convict argued that he had agoraphobia, the judge very kindly offered to immediately have him placed inside a jail cell. A-G-A-R-O-P-H-O-B-I-A, agoraphobia. I'm afraid that's incorrect. The accurate spelling is A-G-O-R-A-P-H-O-B-I-A, -A -A, which means we cannot give you points for that, but still, you can score 20 points if you spell this word correctly. That word is ricochet. Language of origin? It is of French origin. Meaning? To rebound off a surface. Ricochet. That is correct. R-I-C-O-C-H-E-T, ricochet. That is the correct spelling. Well done. You have further 20 points to your score, taking your total to 35 points. Very well played, Aditya. It's time now to welcome our final contestant today. She is from the Delhi Public School in Vasant Kunj in Delhi, and her name is Soumya Malotra. Hi, Soumya. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm kind of nervous, but I'm partly excited too. You're partly excited? Yeah. Do you have some family here with you today? Yes, I have my father here. Hello, sir. Hi. How are you? Good. So welcome to the show and all the best for the competition. Let's begin round one with you. For five points, Soumya, your word to spell is larceny. Larceny. Could I have the meaning, please? Theft of personal property. Larceny. L-A-R-C-E-N-Y. Larceny. Absolutely correct. <laughs> and just like that, you have five points. We'll move on swiftly to your second word in round one for ten points now. That word is artichoke. Artichoke. Could I have the meaning, please? A European plant cultivated for its large, thistle-like flower heads. Artichoke. A R T I C H O K. -E. E, artichoke. You didn't choke on that spelling. <laughs> it's absolutely correct. Well played. The word artichoke, which actually originates from the Arabic word for artichoke, al khushuf. We'll move on to your third word to spell in round one. That is for 15 points. And it is carcinogenic. 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 That is correct. 
Could I have the meaning, please? Having the potential to cause cancer. Okay, could I have the language of origin, please? It is of Greek origin. Uh, C-A-R-C-I-N-O-G-E-N-I-C. -E -I -I Carcinogenic. Let's ask your father. I think that's correct. You think that's correct? I know that's correct. <laughs> well played. That means that you have another 15 points, taking your total currently to 30 and tying you for the moment with Akansha. You have one word left to spell, which will put you ahead. That word for 20 points is trapezii. Could I have the meaning, please? The muscles extending over the neck and shoulders. Um, could I have the language of origin, please? It is of Greek origin. Could you use it in a sentence, please? He's so well built. I thought he had two bodyguards standing behind him, but they turned out to be his massive trapezii. Trapezii. T R A P E Z I A E. Trapezia. I'm afraid that's incorrect. <laughs> Classmates, do you want to take a shot at that? This is just a guess. T R A P E Z I I. That is absolutely right. The accurate spelling of trapezii. I'm afraid, Somia, we cannot give you points for that. At the end of round one, you are still tied with Akansha with 30 points. Well played. Okay. At the end of round one, our scores stand as tied in third place, Soumya and Akansha with 30 points each. In second place, we have Aditya with 35 points, but our current leader is Ananya with a perfect score so far of 50 points. It's time to take a break, but I'm going to leave you with a puzzle. There's a symbol called the octothor, but we call it something else. Do you know what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's right there on your keyboard, and if you're an active social networker, you're bound to have used it. Think about it while we take a break. You're watching Classmates Bell B 2014, powered by The Times of India.